In this video, let's look at retrieval augmented generation versus fine tuning versus both. Basically, this is a guide for optimizing LLM performance. So this is an excellent blog from Pratik Bhavsar from Galileo Labs. If you are the kind of person who would like to read a blog, you can skip this video. Else, let's continue. So what is retrieval augmented generation with respect to an large language model? So you have a particular query, right? Now this query basically is, you know, you perform a search on it's converted to embeddings using an encoder and then you use a vector database to retrieve relevant context for this query and then the query plus context is sent to an LLM so that the LLM can generate an answer for your question. Right? So this is retrieval augmented generation. If you were to directly give this question to the LLM, maybe the LLM does not know these facts or maybe it doesn't have this external knowledge. Maybe it's not trained on external knowledge. Okay. And it's not able to answer properly. It might generate hallucinated content and so on. So you are trying to improve the performance of an LLM using retrieval augmented generation. Okay. Now, what are the factors that you need to consider when evaluating fine tuning and retrieval augmented generation? Okay. Before that, let's go into what is, what are the two types of fine tuning? Okay. So when you are fine tuning a large language model, you can use language modeling task for fine tuning. Now, what is language model task for fine tuning? So this is like your GPT-3, Llama or something where you are pre-training a language model, right? Uh, to perform next token prediction. You are adapting a pre-trained model like GPT-3 or Llama and you are performing next token prediction. So the training data is your, uh, you know, raw unsupervised text and you are trying to predict the next token as the prediction label, right? And then you have supervised question and answering fine tuning. Okay, here it's more about, uh, it's a specialized form focusing on improving the model's performance in question answering tasks. Okay, whereas language model task fine tuning is a more broader approach. So if you want to adapt your model to a new domain, right? For example, you have Llama 2, which was trained on general text. And now you want it to adapt to medical domain, right? Then probably you will do this language modeling task fine tuning. Okay. Next, you want to do some kind of medical question answering, right? Then you will do supervised question and answering fine tuning. Okay. Where the training data for uh, your uh, task over here is question answer pairs. So the idea here is to fine tune the model specifically for tasks where the input is a question and the desired output is a answer, right? So fine tuning helps adapt the general language model to perform well on specific tasks, making it more task specific. Whereas what is retrieval augmented generation? It helps connect the LLM to external knowledge sources through retrieval mechanisms. So it combines generative capabilities with the ability to search for and incorporate relevant information from a knowledge base. So you can actually combine RAG and fine tuning also because they, you can do, uh, they have complementary roles. So with RAG, you can have dynamic data, right? It can work with your knowledge base also, static data. It can work with your internal documents, internal data. It can reduce hallucinations. You can get transparency of generation, right? Whatever output which is generated, you can find out, you know, what was the relevant context and based on the context, how did this response get generated and so on, right? Whereas in supervised fine tuning, your uh, generation is kind of a black box, okay? But you can fine tune a smaller model. You can give a distinct personality to your model that is brand voice in generation, okay? And you can reduce hallucination by, you know, fine tuning on a particular domain on a particular data set, right? And when you combine both, you get all these benefits. That's the idea over here. 
okay so what are the seven factors to consider when evaluating fine tuning and rack so one is dynamic versus static data so dynamic data is when your data keeps changing right uh, and there you would want uh, you know for example you want to develop a chatbot uh, you know and you ask a question which is like very relevant uh, which happened yesterday right now this particular model if it has been trained on last year's data it will not be able to answer but with the rag based system you can augment this model with a uh, live uh, you know google search results and things like that okay so rag excels in dynamic data environments whereas fine tune model become static data snapshots during training and may quickly become outdated in dynamic data scenarios so fine tuning does not guarantee recall of this knowledge making it unreliable okay so rag offers agility and up to date responses in rapidly evolving data landscapes makes it ideal for projects with dynamic information needs again for external knowledge obviously rag because you can supply the external knowledge as a and it it is uh, uh, you know it can uh, you can uh, retrieve uh, the relevant knowledge from these external knowledge bases and give it to an llm okay uh, it is also possible to fine tune an llm to learn external knowledge but there is cost involved in training uh, it's also a time consuming process it may not be practical for frequently changing data sources okay so again rag is good for external knowledge for model customization like you want to customize the writing style uh, domain specific knowledge or specific nuances or terminologies then it is better to fine tune rather than rag okay rag is more for uh, you know incorporating external knowledge but it may not customize the model's behavior or writing style okay for reducing hallucination rag is uh, inherently less prone because you are you know uh, getting uh, relevant content in your retrieved you know basically you are retrieving content okay relevant content so you can ground the model uh, for fine tuning uh, you can still ground the model in a specific domains training data but it can still you know uh, fabricate responses when faced with unfamiliar inputs so rag provides better mechanisms for minimizing hallucination okay but rag is more transparent in the output generation because you can break down your response uh, generation into distinct stages providing more insight into data retrieval and fostering trust in outputs fine tuning operates like a black box you don't know what is the reason how the responses are being generated right so rag provides clear advantage of transparency and interpretability now rag does not allow us to use a smaller model is what is written over here but i have seen good responses with smaller model rags also right with smaller model also a rag helps in some places i have seen good performance in practical experience okay i would diverge over here but then yeah generally smaller models may not work well with rag okay fine tuning you can fine tune smaller models you know uh, you can have cheaper and faster inference uh, smaller models require less hardware infrastructure okay but again entirely dependent on your training data and data set okay so that is the thing over here next technical expertise yeah for developing a rag based system you already have various pre built rag frameworks tools available so not much technical expertise is required but for fine tuning you require you know a lot of technical expertise right uh, it starts from say your data sets how do you create data sets how do you define fine tuning objectives how do you do everything where uh, you have to have ex uh, you know expertise in handling infrastructure and so on okay so the thing is that if you look at some uses use cases like summarization then probably fine tuning is better okay because you can uh, fine tune the model for a particular style uh, you know uh, hallucination is uh, not that much important because you are giving original content as context over here and the context offers transparency over here okay but if you are looking at uh, question answering system on organization knowledge probably a combination of both rag plus fine tuning because you want fine tuning for you know reducing hallucination and domain adaptation you want rag for uh, relevant knowledge retrieval as well as for you know transparency in terms of uh, the generation okay for customer support chatbots again a combination of both because you need um, domain knowledge based uh, thing which fine tuning offers 
and drag for your knowledge base okay for code generation systems again a combination of both right so depending upon your use cases you can look at these seven criteria and you can decide which approach is better should i start with rag and then when i have enough data i'll go and do fine tuning of my model or i need to do both or only fine tuning so everything depends on the kind of problem statement and the uh, you know the project use case okay yeah so this was about fine tuning versus retrieval augmented generation you know versus both that's the idea over here now galileo has their own uh, you know large language model studio and uh, their own tools over here you can look at it uh, but this is an interesting blog it's quite informative right so i'll be putting the link of this blog in the description uh, of the video you can go check out so i hope this video is useful to you if the video is useful to you please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video